Now, I always thought P. Diddy was kind of, well, a limpist or a gay man, right? Come to find out he could be P. Diddy the diddler, or he could just be P. Diddy the pimp. Or he could just be P. Diddy that's getting me too. I'm J.B. Gunner. This is Crime Time. We're going to talk about P. Diddy today as he was raided and detained yesterday, actually. Let's go ahead and get on into it. Let's do it. What the blood? What's going on, everybody? As you guys know, I'm JB Gunner, and this is Crime Time. Now, before we get started, let me first and foremost say thank you to everybody that supports the channel, any of my channels, regardless of platform, regardless of method you choose, whether it's Cash App, Patreon, Venmo, PayPal. Truth is, I couldn't do this each and every day as often as I do if it wasn't for you, the Gun Squad. Big shout out to you guys. Love you so much. And if you too find my content valuable, Feel free to hit those links down below. Show your boys some love. Support the channel. Join the Gun Squad today. By the way, if, while you're down there, you might as well go ahead and check out the, con the other content that I have. I have a true crime. Uh, this is a true crime channel. I have a, a political channel, live stream channel, all that shit. Uh, wrestling channel, gaming channel, amusement park, travel, all that. It's all down there if you want to check out some other work. But let's go ahead and jump into this goofy story. Let me get this off here from a stream last night. But anyway, we're going to start off talking about Diddy because last night something major happened. Diddy's, or yesterday, Diddy's homes in L.A. and Miami are raided by Homeland Security as part of sex trafficking probe after mounting lawsuits. Now, if you're a normal human being and you don't get into the hippity hop, I get it. You may not know what a P. Diddy is. And so his name is Sean Combs. He's actually a billionaire. He uh, started off. Obviously, just as a producer doing music, he got involved in the music, heavy uh, with Notorious B.I.G. back in the day. But, you know, so several years later, he's gotten all kinds of different industries. He's the he, founder of Bad Boy Records. Um, he's, he's did quite a lot, to be perfectly honest, and he's obtained quite a massive amount of wealth. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to start off by saying, when rich people get accused of, whether it's Vince McMahon, the WWE, whether it's P. Diddy, it doesn't really matter who it is. A lot of times, Donald Trump, I don't believe you. When these people get accused typically of rape, or as you true crime losers say, S.A., you know what I'm saying. I don't believe you. Because I know women lie about this shit. I know women because a lot of these cases, what you'll see is them go after them financially. Typically not criminal, you know, not a criminal situation. You typically don't see these people go get rape kits and cry rape and or anything like this. Usually what it is is these women who have engaged in sexual activity with you in the past, they see that you're rich, they see that you're wealthy, they see other people, particularly since the Me Too era happened, uh, getting paid, and they've decided them, for themselves that they want to get paid. Anybody that actually knows who Diddy is and has watched him over the years knows 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, these stupid whores were throwing themselves all over Pete Diddy. That's the truth. Vince McMahon in the WWE, he was a, he, he's the man, he's the owner of the WWE. You don't think that these female wrestlers or people that want to get into the industry was sucking a little dick to get mo Listen, there's hoes right now sucking dick to get promoted at Preston Safeway. You don't think these hoes are going to suck some dick to get promoted in a or get really, really paid? Whether it's actresses, female wrestlers, maybe chicks that want to do dancing in Diddy's video. Ha <laughs> I thought I told you that. We won't stop type shit. You know what I'm saying? These women will suck dick to get promoted. How do I know? Because many of you have sucked dick or fucked your boss just to get promoted, just to get raised, get raised from $8 an hour to $11 an hour, you $11 asshole. If there's hoes sucking dick for $11 an hour, there's definitely going to be hoes that's going to go for the big bag like they did with Trump. If you believe Trump raped E. Jean Carroll, you're a goddamn fool. You're a goddamn fool. Have you seen that bitch? But let's go ahead and continue on. So I just want to preface this video by saying, look, man, I don't believe these hoes. 
I don't believe you. I don't believe you when you cry and rape. Because I'm going to be honest. Probably 70 to 80% of every woman I've ever talked to has a rape story. The reality of this is not all. If, if For me to believe these bitches would mean for me to believe that almost every dude out here rapes people. But see, they've changed the definition of rape. If me and you meet and we get drunk and fuck and you regret it, you see what I'm saying? They'll say I raped you because I got you drunk and got sex. I was drunk too, bitch. You see what I'm saying? How come you never hear of a woman getting arrested for the, her, her and the dude getting drunk and she got, do you see what I'm saying? How come the dude is never the victim when drunk fucking happens? How come? You guys have changed the definition of rape, sexual harassment, everything. So I just simply don't believe you. I don't give a fuck. I've seen some of you. There's bitches walking around here, 250, 200 pounds, 180 pounds, 300 pounds, Sharkeesh's, saying, somebody raped me. Nobody even wants to fuck you for free. Nobody wants to fuck you if you offered it. Why would anybody want to rape you? Most of the women that I see yell rape are people you wouldn't want to fuck in the first place. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's why I'm careful which one of you bitches I meet off YouTube. I'm careful. I got to admit, I played Russian roulette with my dick over a thousand times. I, I've been a fool. However, in my older years, notice that I, there's very select ones of you that I've actually met and fucked. The reason for that is, is because I'm smart. Because once bitches get around me and they see the way I live my lifestyle, I already know how women are. I already know how you are. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. But let's go ahead and get, let's just go ahead and get back to this, okay? Diddy's homes are raided by Homeland Security as part of sex trafficking probe after mounting lawsuits. Two properties belonging to the rapper Sean Diddy Combs in Los Angeles and Miami were searched Monday by federal Homeland Security investigations agents after law enforcement as part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. That's what they call it now, right? It used to be sex trafficking meant you forced a girl into prostitution. Now, in the, like in the case of Vince McMahon, just having a... Vince McMahon was running trains on these hoes with John Laronitis. You see what I'm saying? Shitting on their faces, literally. So now if you just pass it to a homeboy, if you just pass the pussy off to a friend, or multiple... You, you see what I'm saying? And now it's sex trafficking. No, nah, these bitches were going to be hoes anyway. Most of y'all got at least 50 bodies on you by the time you're fucking 20 years old. Talk about, don't judge us, be sex positive. Bitch, you've been sex positive for way too long. That's why it's dangerous to kiss you. That's why it's dangerous to kiss you, motherfuckers. Do you know women retain the DNA of every dude that's busted nuts in them for up to 80 years? Do you know that? Google it. Women retain the DNA of every dude that they've let bust nuts in them for 80 years. Google it and remember that the next time you kiss one of these raggedy assholes. True story. Now let's get back to this. All right. The rapper who was facing mounting sexual and I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. It's a double standard. That's right, because people don't bust nuts in us, dummy. People do bust nuts in you. Where's the cream filling? It's in your mouth, goober. We simply wipe our shit off and move on. You have shit injected in you. DNA injected into you <laughs> from all kinds of dirty motherfuckers. And then if you guys are mud sharks and you're letting Tyrone hit, it's even worse. You bitches pussies are ruined for life. No self-respecting European wants to be with your ass after you done ran through the, the, the Taiwanese gauntlet. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. But anyways, let's get back to the work. The rapper who was facing mountains. <laughs> anyway, he was nowhere to be seen as agents combed through his properties on Monday afternoon. Actually, they got, they got with him at Miami Airport. We'll get to that in a second. While it was later confirmed that the mogul was not on board, Diddy's personal jet, Love L Air LLC, has been tracked to Antigua in the, Carib in the Caribbean. So his private jet went to the Caribbean, but P. Diddy was not on the motherfucker. 
And everybody yesterday was, oh, look at him, he's running. Ah, oh, man, come here. I, he, I, thought, I thought he told you that he won't stop. Some of y'all get that reference, some of y'all don't. Armed agents from the Department of Homeland Security, of course, because they don't have nothing better to do. They're sure the fuck not going to secure our border. They got to go after some rapper that dances around in his, whatever, man. Whatever. Cocksuckers. The agents who were wearing vests gathered <laughs> in the home's backyard near the pool. Multiple officers were seen carrying boxes and bags of evidence to a van with assistance from police dogs. Yeah, they went at Diddy. They, by the way, they handcuffed his sons right there, as you can see. As you can see, Diddy's home was raided. Let's, let's hear a little bit more about it and, 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 and what exactly the allegations are. Fox 11 was the first to report about a raid at the home of Sean Diddy Combs. Tonight, we're digging a little deeper into the legal issues already facing the music people. They include multiple lawsuits involving allegations of sex workers, Ooh. hidden cameras, and compromising recordings Big deal. of celebrities and politicians. Now, all this was prior. Big deal. And that's why they're going after him, because he might have compromising recordings of politicians. That's what it is, other rich folks. This is some Epstein-like shit, right? But let me, and I've been saying this the last couple of days. Man, that's, there was a FBI, a former FBI agent that was arrested because he had sex tapes and videos and pictures and nudes of all of his ex-girlfriends. They all came together. Man, it's to the point now where we can't even keep nudes. So when I break up with you, which is ultimate, it's, it's, it's destiny, I'm supposed to delete your nudes? Man, I should be in prison right now then. I got a whole file of just pornos that I've recorded with bitches over the years. And yeah, that's, that's, that's the porn that I watch because I love me some me. I don't want to watch nobody else fuck but me. I'm good at it. I'm good at it. But anyways, it's crazy. So now... Now, here, and so now we're at the stage where because these women, for instance, may want to sell their ass somehow P. Diddy's the fucking bad guy. Well, ho is going to ho no matter what, if a ho is going to ho. I hate how they say trafficking. No, a ho is going to ho anyway. Usually what a pimp is for is to protect them. It's the true story. Manage the funds. Anyway. Call it a, uh, <laughs> no, we'll leave it alone. But anyways, I don't. I, I personally don't understand it. Look, man, I'm to the point now where I don't even want a relationship. I don't want to deal with nobody because the fact that you guys can just come back later and be like, I regretted it and do shit like this is fucking dirty. To today's federal raid. Fox is Gina Silva digging into that tonight. She's got the latest. It's fucking dirty. Lessons. Gina. Alex, Christine, this right here, it is, is the lawsuit. It is 75 pages of just shocking allegations. Many legal experts say the accusations are very similar to those of Jeffrey Epstein's Oh, case. here we go. If you have read this complaint and seen the nature of these allegations, uh, the raids aren't that surprising. It's a 75-page complaint with explosive allegations sure. of sexual assault sex trafficking and drugging of underage girls. Let me tell you something. If you truly believe that our Department of Justice gives a fuck about sexual tra trafficking or chomo shit, then wouldn't they release the Glenn Maxwell list? What about the Jeffrey Epstein list? If they truly cared why would they have protected Hollywood and politicians and all this for so long? You think our Department of Justice really gives a fuck about people diddling the kids? Not really. They don't. The problem is that, as you heard earlier, Diddy has recordings of politicians and shit, much like Epstein. It is true. But trust me, our Department of Justice don't give a shit about you diddling these goddamn kids. They diddle them and fucking, they do all kinds of shit with them. All these people are hypocrites, whether we're talking about the, the, the church or the politicians. They're all diddling these goddamn kids, drinking their blood and shit. I ain't joking. And no, I'm not a QAnon motherfucker. But it's not, it's not a joke. All you have to do is watch Alex Jones sneak into Bohemian Grove and you will see what these motherfuckers do. You'll see what these motherfuckers do. 
The lawsuit was filed by music producer Rodney Little Rod Jones on February 26th. Little Rod. <laughs> you know you got your life is going to be hell if you get a nickname and you're a dude called Little Rod. That's Little Rod right there. Oh, no, hell no. My, my shit's cool. My shit's decent. Average Rod, Big Rod, whatever. But you ain't going to call me Little Rod. A.K.A. Diddy his son, Justin Dior, and several others. And it also includes photographs of bloody crime scenes, sex workers, and drugs allegedly administered oh. at, quote, freak off parties. It's clear that the allegations, uh, again, in this complaint. <sighs> Motherfuckers can't even have Menage a Twizzles no more, man. Can't even have sex parties no more. Now, as somebody in the BDSM that has regularly went to sex dungeons and sex parties, I find this weird. So that's where we're at now. And here's what's crazy, what's, what's goofy about the whole thing, is that the very same liberals that's like, you got to be sex positive and sex free, now they're like, hey, not the men, you guys are fuck way too many hoes, hell no. Well, only, basically, liberalism is a bunch of hypocrisy. They're basically saying, no, you men need to tame it down unless you're a homo. But us women, we can, the point of sex positivity is so women can be hoes. We want you men to chill the fuck out. You see what I'm saying? That's all this shit is. That's all this shit is. Many of them rise to the level of criminal conduct. How? We expect to see some kind of criminal investigation taking place. Civil rights attorney Areva Martin is not connected to this case. She is serving as a legal analyst. If even a handful, not the entire complaint of allegations, but even if a handful of these allegations are true, they mean trouble for Sean Combs. Jones lived and traveled with Diddy for 13 months. Right. The complaint states, Mr. Jones was sexually harassed and assaulted by Mr. <laughs> Come on, man. You think P. Diddy raped that motherfucker? Come on, come on, P. Diddy, this dude is fuck Jennifer Lopez, this dude has holes all over the place, and you think Diddy raped that guy? Stop. Mr. Combs, it also states Mr. Combs required Mr. Jones to solicit sex workers. The complaint goes on to claim Diddy has hidden cameras in every room of his homes. It's not hidden cameras. It's called surveillance. That's what people with shit do. I have cameras in every room of my house as well, and always have. And that there are recordings of celebrities, music label executives, politicians, and athletes in compromising positions. The well, number of celebrities who come up in this lawsuit, who according to this plaintiff, were involved in or have information about uh, some of this really uh, salacious and allegedly criminal conduct on the part of... They still have, What's the crime? They haven't said anything. First to Diddy's chief of staff as Ghislaine Maxwell, who was found guilty of recruiting underage girls... Get the fuck out of here! ...in these cases before with high-powered, uh, affluent uh, individuals. But again, at this point, these are allegations. You know it's fucked up when you got me sitting here defending Tyrone, especially a rapper. You got me sitting here defending one of them yo-yo-yo motherfuckers. Stop. But he's not, oh, man. You guys give prison a whole lot more evidence than this. And perhaps we will see this matter move from civil to criminal. Earlier this year, Diddy's former longtime romantic partner. Look at that. Come on, man. He's fucking her. Or was. And you really believe he went from fucking that woman to raping that dude? Stop. Stop. Cassie Ventura accused him of rape. And sex I'm trafficking and, and physical I'm abuse. After Diddy settled that case, other women filed. That's what it was. That's what all this led to. Diddy's number one failure. His fuck up was settling that case. Then all these women came out the woodworks just like every other time. Because once they see one woman get a shitload of money, they're gonna come. All these bitches gonna come out and get it. 
Diddy posted his enough is enough statement on Instagram, where he strongly denied all the allegations against him. Uh, again, just really serious allegations that right. really rise to the level right. of the if true. Now, there are many other serious allegations in the lawsuit. We also contacted Diddy's attorney, Sean Holly, for comment. She did not get back to us. Alex Christine, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. These people are fucking nuts. I'm going to be honest with you. These people are fucking nuts. Diddy's private jet traffic tracked to the Caribbean and Caribbean island of Antigua as feds swoop in on L.A. and Miami homes. But the rapper was not on board. Uh, his personal Gulfstream 5 landed Monday in Antigua. He wasn't there. That's kind of weird. Uh, I know, I know the fuck. You ain't going to borrow my goddamn private jet. Diddy was aboard private jet, according to Zero uh, uh, Hedge, when Homeland Security rolled up. Basically, they caught Diddy in Miami. They, so I don't know if he was actually went to Antigua. Now, I don't know what. Either way, he's rich, and I'm sure he does bounce back and forth, right? So Diddy... Is that was in Miami at Opalaka Airport after his homes were raided, but basically he was not in the Caribbean, and he did remain in the United States. It's because I mean he's literally right there, right there, at the at the airport. So Diddy was not running out, and his jet may have left out, but uh, he was not on that jet. That jet left from Los Angeles, not Miami. So he was not on that jet. Let's go ahead and continue on with the process. Diddy has stopped at Miami Airport just hours after feds raided his LA mansions. Um, he was just detained for a little bit. Uh, as neighbor reveals how SUVs packed with girls and bikinis arrived at rapper's pad for wild parties. That's not illegal, that's pimping. I mean, come on. That's not illegal. Since when is it illegal to have a gang of hoes? God damn, I should be in prison forever. Cause I got bitches galore. That is what it is. You can say whatever you want to say about me. You can say I'm sexist. You can say I'm racist. You can say whatever. But my dick ain't dry. I know that. I know that. Since when is that illegal? Ryan, where are we standing in front of right now? Um, we're standing in front of 200 South Mapleton. And this jackass is just on here just talking shit at Oak Diddy's boys get it. Drive in Homeby Hills. Blake, and, Blake uh, Griffin looking motherfucker. How far away from here? About five minutes. Five minutes. Talk about your experiences here and what you've seen in front of Diddy's house before. Um, I've seen um, black suburbans, Uber drivers, private drivers between the ages of, I mean, between the times around 1 to 3 a.m. Um, sometimes it's a little, little, little bit later and early in the morning. Um, it carries over, but I've seen girls get out of the car. Um, so? Suits, swimwear. So? Um, bathing suits sometimes after the club. They could, have been, they could have been at the club, I thought, maybe coming to an after, after party or whatever. Um, I, I never thought anything of it, but now obviously since allegations are happening that Diddy was doing this trafficking thing, now I know. Oh, man, about. get get the fuck out of here. And, um, have you yourself seen Diddy with these girls? I've never seen Diddy. Um, I've seen other men outside. I've seen other This dude is just talking hella shit. He don't even live there. He lives five minutes away. I've seen a lot of probably eight to ten girls outside before. I never actually had. So what? So during the weekends, what is the, like, the party scene like um, in his house? I've, I've been here one Saturday or a month ago, um, and it's been suburban up and down the street, um, dropping off people, so I didn't, it could have been a normal party. Uh, right, so, right, um, dummy. Yeah. These are obviously very nice, huge, fancy homes. Typically, what is it like here? Um, it's parties. I mean, people throw parties all the time, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, just throughout the whole week, to be honest. Um, you can come here um, in Beverly Hills on a Tuesday night, um, there's going to be a 2 a.m. party going on until 5 a.m., so it's not really unexpected. It's just this outcome of this party turned out for the worst. I hate these motherfuckers. They don't even know what the fuck they're saying. Attorneys for Sean Combs accused Cassie Ventura and Rodney Jones say the hope he is they hope he is held responsible for his depraved conduct after feds raided rappers in LA and Miami mansions. <laughs> Right. Nay, a scorn X, man. I'm telling you, it's brutal. And then this, of course, was this guy that said, did he rape him? All of Sean Diddy Combs' accusers, including chefs, protégés, and ex-girlfriends, as hip-hop billionaire faces new $30 million lawsuit. You don't say. 
He's been hit with bombshell $30 million lawsuit. That's what they're going after. <clears throat> He's already facing lawsuits from three other women. That's all this is, is a money grab. That's why I'm telling you this is some Me Too shit. He's never been convicted and has denied any of these allegations, as you know. Basically, little Rod Jones claims he was ordered to recruit prostitutes and have sex with them for the star's pleasure. Get the fuck out of here. Look, man, I got a lot of friends. <laughs> I love Upgrade, my boy Upgrade to death. But never once in my life I'm going to be like, bro, you better go get some hoes so you can have sex up with them in front of me. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. It's all bullshit. I don't believe, I don't believe none of this shit. Cindy Ruella, May 2017, the first of the allegations came from Combs' personal chef. She filed a lawsuit against the rapper in L.A. with claims of sexual harassment, retaliation, and future failure to pay overtime. I'm sure she fucked him on her own. Ruella alleged that Combs would regularly ask her to serve food to him and his friends immediately following sexual activity. So they were fucking. And, and he asked the chef to give him food. Duh. The outlet also reported she claimed the men would be naked during the meals and Combs once asked if he liked his, if she liked his body. Then, so what? They were in their house. The lawsuit was settled for an undisclosed amount in February. Cassandra Ventura. In November 2023, R&B singer Cassie accused Combs of rape and repeated physical abuse. Now keep in mind this was his girlfriend. The lawsuit alleged how he physically controlled and abused Cassie for over a decade, but she kept sucking his dick, right, as well as plying her with drugs, beating her, and forcing her to have sex with multiple male prostitutes while he watched and recorded. The pair, who met in 2005 when she was age 19, split in 2018. The lawsuit claimed that just before the end of the relationship, he, boy, he broke in the door, kick, went kicking in the door, waving the fofo, -fo, and raped the shit out of her. That's what she's saying. Uh, Cassie said in a legal document that she, that, that, <laughs> after years of sight, you know what, fuck this, <laughs> fuck this, <laughs> fuck it, these people are clowns, I don't care, Joy Dickerson Neal, less than a week after Cassie's lawsuit was filed, you don't say, Joy Dickerson Neal claimed that Combs drugged and sexually assaulted her while she was a psychology student at Syracuse in 1991, alleging that he also filmed the attack, oh. She was working as a waitress at a chicken and waffle place, of course, and hoping to make it in the music industry. Bam! <laughs> you mean you sucked his dick hoping you can make it in the music industry, and then when he didn't let you in the music industry, he raped you. We get it. She claims Diddy pressured her for a date and then slipped something into her drink before taking her to an apartment and sexually assaulting her. No, she sucked dick to get into the music business. Let's call it what it is. She alleges he shared the video widely and says she was told by Devante Swing, a member of Jodeci, that everyone had seen the footage. She was sucking dick. It is what it is. It is what it is. Lisa Gardner, the same day as, as Dickerson Neal's lawsuit, another woman called Lisa Gardner filed a second lawsuit claiming Combs and R&B singer Aaron Hall raped her at Hall's apartment. Yes, he, that's, uh, you get the point. While at Hall's apartment, Gardner was offered more drinks and was coerced into having sex with Combs. So she got drunk and fucked Sean Combs. You, you see what I'm saying? She, all she did was get drunk and fuck. That's normal. Jane Doe number two. Now, this one's a big allegation. Another alleged victim of Combs came forward in 2023 to accuse the hip-hop mogul and his entourage of brutally gang-raping her when she was 17. Now, this could be an issue, but once again, this could also just be another money grab. The Jane Doe claimed in shocking lawsuit that the 54-year-old rapper flew her to the studio in 2003 and gave her a lot of drugs and alcohol. So she also got fucked up and probably sucked some dick. It's just the truth, man. And guys, you gotta be watch. You gotta watch out who you put your dick in, man. These and you gotta be, stop getting these bitches drunk. Just stop it. Just stop it. It's a different world today. Fifty Cent taunts Diddy on Instagram. <laughs> he said they don't come like that unless they got a case, and that is true. The feds don't come like that unless they got a case. 
Diddy's former protege, Audrey O'Day, blasted the mogul after his homes were raided uh, by Homeland Security and a sex trafficking problem. What you sow, you shall reap, she goes on to say. Uh, she probably sucked him off, too. Goddamn lying ass bitch. Here's the truth about sexual assault. Do you know up to between 2 and 10% of rapes are proven false? Let that sink in. Even if it's just 2%, even if it's just 2%, two out of one or every hundred are false accusations. What if it's 10%? Because they say it's 2 to 10%. That means two, that means 10 out of every hundred. Hashtag me too? Fuck that. I don't believe none of you bitches. You all have body counts that are that are longer than my dick. All of you have been hoeing for a long time while still wanting to wear the white dress. That's reality. That's the truth. Now you may fool all these other people into believing that your hoeing is you being a victim, but we all, us that actually fuck you, we know the difference. You may be able to convince your church friends or the dudes that don't get no fucking pussy, but us, us dudes that literally have shit on your face, we know. I'm JB Gunner. This is crime time. Let me know in the comment section what you think. I think, did, do you think that, I look man, you may have a different opinion than me, but I, don't, I just don't believe it. I don't believe, and you gotta show me something. You gotta prove to me something. And I'm sorry, you women have lied so much about rape, I don't believe none of you anymore, especially since most of you. Uh, I just did a story the other day where y'all are 170 pounds on average. Ain't nobody fucking you fat bitch. Ain't nobody raping you fat whores. I'm gonna get up out of here. If you like what I do here and you find my content valuable, feel free to hit the links down below. Support the channel, motherfuckers.